electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. And this is the kind of situation during our sales where Herbie really shows his stuff. <laughs> he, uh, he didn't even hesitate. He just went out there, did what needed to be done. It was raining, it was so windy, it was lightning, and it was, oh my gosh, we were heeled over, and the mast was making all kinds of noises, and he just did what had to be done. Okay. <laughs> In the end, he ended up uh, dropping Monty, the mainsail, and we stopped healing so much. Now we're sailing just under Stan, our staysail, and we're still going. It's a crazy one out there. Well, I'm wet. <laughs> oh, wow. So we had two reefs and the staysail, but the issue is we have that preventer which is also acting as a vang, so then the boom can't come up to twist the sail to spill more wind when it gets kind of crazy. And we only had two reefs in. It got pretty insane. Uh, I, in the stern light, you'd see the wake like go because we had a wake because we were going really fast. But oh, awesome though, the bioluminescence were just gorgeous. Like it sucked. I was, I'm soaked. It wasn't very fun. But the bioluminescence were beautiful. So anyway, uh, you'd see the like waves and stuff. Just the tops would just get ripped off and just shot across. And I was, you know, at the helm, getting hit by everything windward of us getting ripped off and shot across. But it was just too much, and the the main started just luffing, and like we we couldn't keep it like that. So it was either put in a third reef in those conditions, or. What we're doing right now, which, man, I should have done this a long time ago, is drop the main, just the staysail, and then set it, set the wind vane on a downwind course. So we have Lee Helm, and we're just going. That's it. I didn't have to really get, I am like drenched. But the good part is when I first went out, I got hit by a big wave, so I was completely salty, even though I just took a shower today. But then, with enough rain time, yeah, I, I am fresh. I am no longer salty. <laughs> that is how much rain came down. Woo wee! All right. Time to towel off. Yes. No, we don't have our lines led back aft to the cockpit. Our lines are all at the co at the mast. So yes, I have to go out there and do that. But because we go to the mast all the time, we have all these safety things. We have chest high lifelines, jack lines, lifelines, grab rails, all sorts of stuff. So like, you're pretty safe. Like you're really held in there well. And I got out there and I, I looked like a dog with worms doing the butt scratch because I just like sat and like just scooted my way down the deck. <laughs> got to the mast. Before I released the hired, I grabbed the downhaul and kept tension on it. And then I released the hired completely. And there was so much pressure on the sail, I could not, like it wouldn't fall. It was just staying up. And I had the downhaul and I just pulled the downhaul and the main just came down like a window blind. And, oh, so huge thanks to the parties because before we went cruising, I read a bunch of their books and one of the things they talked a whole lot about were downhauls. And we have them on every single sail on this boat because of them. And because of them, that horrible experience was uh, funny. Rest in peace, Larry. And Lynn, if you're seeing this, thank you very much as well. Very, very much. A night like this with a surprise squall like that, it's not unheard of and it's not uncommon. So it just makes me really grateful that we're in this old, heavy, heavy displacement boat because in a lighter boat, we could have easily flipped. I am so grateful that we're in wisdom. <laughs>
morning everyone. Today is October 24th and it's time for our little weather forecast. So first off it's easy to tell from being in this boat that the seas are really rolly right now but yet there isn't much wind because last night there was a lot of wind which made a lot of seas but that wind has passed. So the barometer is still steady it's at 10 14 I believe hasn't really changed much because we're in the trade so we're just riding Kind of the 1014 isobar. We look outside, those really tall clouds that were atmospheric uh, instability yesterday that were just climbing up, those are kind of all gone. Now we just have flatter clouds. And we're just heading towards some uh, not so lovely stuff. So that's pretty much our forecast. We're just uh, out here. We don't have much sail up because we just have our, our stay sole because last night our stay sole was enough to move us along at seven to eight knots because it was really, really windy. Ah. So now I'm just gonna get the boom out of the way. I'm gonna raise a tri -sole. Not because it's super windy or anything right now, but because we're heading towards that nasty looking thing up ahead. And uh, yeah, it wasn't very pleasant, so we'll get the trisole up. And that'll help steady the roll of the boat. And then once we have that set up and going, then we can, you know, decide what we want to do. We can always bring it down and put up the real main at any point. But it just lets us uh, kind of relax and regroup in these sloppy seas. So the wind has completely died, but the waves are still enormous. We're just being jostled around like a little toothpick out here. Herbie's gone up to fix Dill because our drifter got, um, even though he was tied down and everything, he got, yeah, the winds were just so intense last night that he got kind of wrapped in the lifeline. Doesn't look like there's been any damage though, thank goodness. just a rough few hours here. Oh, wow. Is he, was he alive? What? Was he alive? Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that cricket survived. Wow. That is one hearty little cricket. It's been plaguing us with its noise this whole time and it survived. So right now Herbie is tying up Monty, the mainsail, so that we can put up PJ or trisail uh, because it looks like there's more squall to come and if there is, it'd be good to have some balance at the uh, aft of the mast. Okay, so all our sails are on the starboard side because we're on port tack. But we have the boom pulled out with a preventer all the way out on the port side. So it's like way out into the wind. So it's the windward. But that's so that the trisail can flop either side. And it won't interfere with the lazy jacks. And I don't have to take them down. And they can just, just be there. So we currently have like no wind. But I put up the trisail because over that way, it looks like more squalls are coming. That was awful last night, so we're just going to keep the trisail up, let those pass. When the weather's more stable, then we'll get more sail up. We're still going about two knots, and it's almost 100% current.
Well, the squalls are coming around, not being very pleasant, but with the reef down storm sails, we're fine. I mean, it's like, we only know there's a squall going overhead because we can look outside to see it. Because otherwise, we're uh, pretty comfortable in here. Except for all the sloshing because of the seas. That's a thing. Yay, ocean. I wasn't able to get our noon sight today because of the cloud cover, but we moved pretty fast last night and yesterday and all, so I'm assuming we did about 100 miles south. So since yesterday I put us around like 13 or so degrees, that means that today we should be like in the range of like 11 to 12 degrees. So tomorrow we should be in the range of 9 to 10 degrees. So tomorrow might be the day that we turn and start heading west, which would be awesome. But the important part is the sky is starting to look better, and yeah, that's about it. A better sky is a happier Herbie. So this is the end of our day. We're starting night watch now, and we're just you know keeping an eye on the weather because there's some squall clouds out there, but they're just not coming directly at us at this point. So we're just gonna keep an eye on them. But if they do come this way, we're reefed down. We have our trysail up, so we are ready for the worst of the storms. So we are out here and last night we just got hammered by squalls. It's amazing how the sky can change so much about how Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Ringing Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.